All right, trainers, school is back in session. I've got my study buddies all around me, so it's time to earn an A in class and a W on the battlefield. It's Top Deck Academy. I've been exploring different ways to improve my results in Pokemon trading card game battles, and I found one of the easiest ways to do this is to make improvements to my deck. So on today's episode of Top Deck Academy, we'll cover the best way to upgrade a Pokemon TCG deck, using the Intellion VMAX League Battle Deck as a starting point. You ready? Let's dive in! Oh, and by the way, this season of Top Deck Academy is being captured in Pokemon TCG Live. Shout out to my fellow TCG caster, Ellis Longhurst, for writing this episode of Top Deck Academy. Before making any changes to a deck, we first need to understand its win condition and overall strategy. This will help us to decide which cards are really important and which cards might be better suited to a different deck. Remember, there are three different ways to win a battle in the Pokemon TCG. You win if your opponent has no cards left in their deck at the beginning of their turn, or if they have no Pokemon left in play, or if you take six prize cards. Taking six prize cards is the win condition most decks are designed to achieve. Let's try to figure out the win condition and strategy of the Intellion VMAX League Battle Deck. Hmm, well, the hero of the deck is Intellion VMAX. Its max bullet attack does damage to the opponent's active Pokemon and to one of their benched Pokemon. The rest of the Pokemon in this deck are either equipped with attacks that do loads of damage to the opponent's Pokemon, or they have abilities that support attacking Pokemon, or they do a bit of both. I'd say this deck is designed to take six prize cards by using water type Pokemon to launch powerful attacks as quickly as possible. Have a think about your deck's win condition and overall strategy, and how it could be improved by replacing cards that don't quite fit the plan. Now we're going to discuss how to upgrade your deck by optimizing its structure. Okay trainers, it's pop quiz time! In this deck, which Pokemon's Ice Dance ability should be used to support your attacking water type Pokemon? Is it Suicune, Frostmoth, or Intellion V? If you said Frostmoth, you were right! You must be feeling pretty cool right about now. The best Pokemon TCG decks enable you to execute your winning strategy over and over again. You can only do this if you have the right cards in hand or in play at the right time. That's why it's so important to optimize the number of each card in your deck. Intellion VMAX is the main attacker of the deck, so I want to have at least three copies of that Pokemon. The more copies of the same card that are in the deck, the more likely it is that you will be able to draw that card when you need it. Intellion VMAX is a stage 1 Pokemon, so the number of Intellion V in the deck should also be increased to 3 or 4 copies, otherwise you may never get the Intellion VMAX into play. It may be tempting to fill your deck with all the other powerful Pokemon in your collection, but most players only choose a few complementary attackers. If you put too many Pokemon in your deck, you won't have room for enough trainer cards and energy cards. In this case, Intellion VMAX has the perfect partner in Intellion from the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield expansion. Intellion certainly flows with the strategy of this deck. Look how similar its Aqua Bullet attack is to Intellion VMAX's Max Bullet. We've established that Intellion and Intellion VMAX are the key Pokemon of this deck. Now we need to make sure that we can draw or search for them and put them into play at the right time. That's why the deck includes supporter cards like Professor's Research and Marnie, and item cards like Quickball. You'll notice that the cards appear in loads of different decks, as well as the trainer's toolkit. A quick way to upgrade your deck is to maximize the count of each of these cards. Many decks also rely on the abilities of Pokemon to draw extra cards or to search for specific cards throughout the game. In this case, we have Intellion and Drizzile. Sometimes Pokemon have abilities with effects that are similar to trainer cards, but unlike trainer cards, the abilities can be used more than once. For example, Manaphy's ability Ocean Search is similar to the effect of Great Ball. If we include one Manaphy from the Shining Fates expansion in our deck, we can reduce the number of Great Ball by two or three, which creates space to add other cards. Trainers, it's time to earn some extra credit. Which of the answers below is not the way to win a game? Is it your opponent running out of cards in their deck? 
your opponent having no more Pokemon in play, yelling, it's a critical hit and popping out of your seat, or taking six prize cards before your opponent. Looks like that critical hit wasn't very effective. Taking six prize cards or having your opponent run out of cards in their deck or no more Pokemon in play are surefire ways to win a TCG game. Some trainer cards might be able to take the place of Pokemon. For example, the Telescopic Sight tool card might benefit the Secret Agent Pokemon and this deck more than Galarian Zigzagoon. Telescopic Sight increases the damage Intellian VMAX can do to benched Pokemon V and Pokemon GX by 30, compared to Galarian Zigzagoon's Headbutt Tantrum, which only puts one damage counter on one of the opponent's Pokemon. Keep your eyes peeled for cards that have similar effects. I really like the idea of being able to reuse my resources, so that's why I've added a Nessa to the deck to go alongside my Ordinary Rod. These trainer cards allow me to retrieve my water Pokemon and water energy from the discard pile so that I can use them in battle again. Lots of trainers choose to include Eldegoss V in their decks to retrieve supporter cards from the discard pile. If we include one of this Cotton Bloom Pokemon in our deck, then we don't have to include as many copies of each of our supporter cards because Eldegoss V acts like an extra copy. If you don't have an Eldegoss V in your collection, you can also try using Palpad. There's just one more step to take to upgrade your deck to battle ready status, and that's to make adjustments based on the metagame in your area. Remember a Pokemon TCG battle involves two players, so you need to make sure that your deck isn't washed away by your opponent's strategy. Intellian and Intellian VMAX both have a weakness to lightning type Pokemon, which means this deck will struggle against decks that include lightning type attackers. What could we do to improve our matchup? We could consider including energy cards or trainer cards that remove the weakness of our Pokemon. Or we could include Pokemon that complement our strategy, but have a different kind of weakness. Top trainers often favor decks that are designed to do damage as early as the first or second turn of the game. That's fast! Intellian VMAX needs three energy attached in order to use Max Bullet, which might be a problem considering that one of the rules of the Pokemon TCG is that you can only attach one energy card to your Pokemon per turn. Outpace your opponents by using Frostmoth's Ice Dance ability or the Melanie Supporter card to attach multiple water energy to Intellion VMAX in one turn and make a big splash with a huge Max Bullet. Make sure you keep an eye on Pokemon.com strategy to learn all about the tactics and strategies your opponent could bring to battle. It's time to earn that A+, trainers! How many energy cards can you attach to a Pokemon per turn? Is it as many as you want? One energy card? One for every Pokemon in play? Or one for every tier your opponent has shed? If you said one energy card per turn, you're making waves! Thanks for tuning into this episode of Top Deck Academy! I had so much fun upgrading the Intellion VMAX League battle deck, and I hope you did too! Now you know how to identify a deck's win condition, how to optimize the structure of a deck, and why it's important to pay attention to the metagame or other trainers' decks. These are all deck building skills that will help you pick up a win in battle. What do you think of the new and improved Intellion VMAX Link Battle deck? Are you going to try it out? Let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you'd like to see on future episodes of Top Deck Academy. Thanks for watching!